So you've probably heard of the cloud, but what does that actually mean? When we talk about the cloud, we're referring to compute, which runs somewhere which isn't on a laptop. It runs remotely. That compute might be uh, just a server running. It might be a database. It might be any other kind of application. But in general, when we talk about cloud compute or cloud software, we're talking about software that's not running on our premises. It's running in a data center owned by some cloud service provider. The biggest cloud service providers you've undoubtedly heard of, they are AWS, Amazon Web Services, GCP, Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. They really are the three giants in the space of cloud service providers. But there's also many more smaller niche providers for specific things. So for example, there's cloud services for even things as uh, niche as recommendation systems or other services like that. But within those cloud service providers, particularly within the big three, there are hundreds of different cloud services which you can access. So as I alluded to, there's services for cloud servers, which you can do whatever you want on a server. There's services for cloud databases, so you don't have to host them locally. There's services for AI on the cloud, whether you want to do recommendations or predictions or of any kind, then you could, there's a service for that. In fact, there's pretty much a service for anything, even crazy stuff like uh, running a fleet of robots. There's a cloud service for that, would you believe it? And also more typical things like uh, building APIs or security. And all of these are kind of provided by these cloud service providers. So what that means, just one more time again, is that they'll run this compute for you in a location which they own. So you don't have to run it on your laptop. It's not on your premise. It's going to run elsewhere in the cloud.